It's inhuman. It's nuts. Thank you. Guys, I'd love to see you. On opposite sides of the world, they weep for the children they cannot see. We'd love to see you come to us. In Perth, Noel and Marion Barton long to see their three children once more. It's been 35 years. They have never seen their grandchildren. How can you reconcile something like this that splits families? In New York, we sit down with Ron Miscavige. His son is the leader of Scientology, David Miscavige. Is Scientology a cult? Yes. He escaped four years ago and has written a book about his son titled Ruthless. Your son sounds like a vicious physical abuser. Well, He's turned into that. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, that is something I cannot deny, and I observe that. The Miscavige family joined up in the late 1960s. Ron played trumpet and composed music for Scientology events and videos. Tell me, what was David like as a child? Uh, he was an enjoyable little kid. By 16, David was assisting then leader and founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard. Almost immediately, Ron noticed changes in his son. You know, I think he just enjoyed nullifying people. He would dominate people by nullifying them. What do you mean by nullifying? Making nothing of them. Making nothing of them. Like Belittling, abusing. Absolutely. You know what, you call yourself a musician? The stuff you write is pure crap. In the book, you describe David as a sociopath. Yes, he dramatized those traits. There's no two ways about it. He describes his son's personality change as like Jekyll and Hyde, the opposite, the happy boy when they met their first Australian friends 40 years ago. One family who asked me to say hello to you is Noel and Marion Barton from Perth and Western Australia. And we lived next door to them when I took my family to England in 1972. They're lovely people, they're lovely. Noel and Marion were initially happy in Scientology, but things got worse. The way it's operating now, I would like to see that come to an end, for sure. They left in the early 1980s, but their children stayed and soon were forced to disconnect, the Scientology term to cut off anyone who leaves or criticises the group. Now, in their 80s, they hope to see their family one last time before they die. You wonder why you could be so naive. What chance do they have of seeing their children while your son is in charge of Scientology? Boy, I hate to say this, not, not much of a chance. After three decades living under his son's rule, it was becoming unbearable, appalling food. One dollar per meal per day. Bizarre rituals. You would go to the lake, there was a lake at the base, and you were allowed to take off your shoes, your wristwatch, maybe a wallet, but you had to keep your full clothes on and then you'd be thrown into the water. You're trying to make sense out of this? Let me tell you something. Don't try it. It's insane. He saw David hit, punch, slap and abuse people. Sleep deprivation was rife. It's the religion that never sleeps, he says, and Scientology has been working overtime to discredit Ron. They've released a written statement and scores of video interviews with current Scientologists claiming that Ron violently beat his wife and children, that he's a racist and that he only wrote this book for the money. You can see and watch their entire statement on our website. They're flat out lies. I mean, this is their modus operandi. This is how they operate. Even the leader's father is fair game, a term Scientology uses to describe its policy of destroying its critics' reputations. They'll say anything about me. I mean, I can show you church policy where it says, get evidence, and if you can't get it, manufacture it. Just make it up. Make it up. Ron and his wife Becky made a desperate escape from the sprawling California base his son commanded in 2012. His son responded by paying private investigators $500,000 to spy on Ron. Famously, they watched him fumble for his phone at a shopping centre and thought he was having a heart attack. They called David Miscavige, who told them... If he dies, he dies. Don't intervene. Don't do anything. How does it feel as a dad to hear your son say that? Devastating. That was terrible. With his children forced to cut him off, Ron researched Scientology and discovered the truth. It takes a little while to say, you know what, I was duped. Mm -hmm. And of course I came to that conclusion. He's not the only one. Tom Cruise feels that David is the top spiritual being on this planet. That's a view shared by Scientologists. They really believe 
that we are living on a prison planet and don't know it, and that the two most important human beings on Earth are David Miscavige and Tom Cruise. Journalist and author Tony Ortega has been exposing Scientology for two decades. The only person who's going to run the Church of Scientology has to be a ruthless dictator. That's just the way an organization like that works. One of our most famous Scientologists is Kate Sobrano. How would you describe Kate? Lovely person. Yeah, she's a very nice person. She's very effusive, uh, very upfront, uh, great singer. When we'd have events and she'd be there, we'd always hang out together and I mean, there's nothing not to like about her. Should these celebrities take responsibility for promoting a group that abuses people? There's no question about it that they should. Federal Senator Nick Xenophon says it's time Scientology started to pay tax. Of course Scientology should pay tax. Unlike other religious organisations, there isn't evidence of a clear public benefit. In the UK, Scientology has to pay tax because they don't provide any public services. Instead, they charge hundreds of thousands of dollars to reveal Hubbard's stories about the intergalactic overlord Xenu. To me, this has to be an election issue. We need to have a fair public benefits test based on what the UK has done. It's something that's been tried and proven and works. But especially our youngest, Andrew, we want to know where he is, whether he's alive or dead. I think it is time for Scientology to end the way it exists right now. Scientology exists with a fortune of more than $3 billion, controlled by Ron Sun, who has made it clear he's not going anywhere. Is he beyond salvation? I would say he's pretty close to that, to that state, but I can tell you, he did change from what I knew him as a young kid, and even as a young man, into this person. And I do feel that it's that power that you have. I, I think it's like a drug. Or a cocktail of the most powerful drugs, money, power and fame. I'm sure the celebrity members of Scientology are very nice people, but what they are in effect doing is feeding and promoting a very nasty cult. When somebody enrolls, consider he's joined for the duration. That is the responsibility every Scientologist has. At the very end of your book, did you mean what you said? I absolutely meant that. I meant it from the bottom of my heart.